喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵。Look how fluffy Leo is. Look at that snoot. Look at that snoot. We're gonna go straight into it. It's a five by seven. It's smaller. My brushes are smaller, but the process is the same. You put in the water. You drip in the highlights. Mark the warm area and the cool areas. In this case, the warm areas have a little bit more of a yellow hue, and the cool areas are more of that dark umber color. So we're going in, marking it out, marking it out, layering, layering with floofy dogs. Oh my goodness details are so important you have to almost map out every single little hair which is a lot of work but another plus side of floofy dogs is that even if you miss a couple hairs or it's not perfect nobody knows you just got to make sure it's floofy oh i love leo's eyes too such bright brown and a little bit of orange for the highlight oh, layers 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 Layers, layers, layers. Floof, floof, floof. I noticed at that point that like the snoot was way more golden than I was planning it so far. So I added some more golden hues in there, which is fine. It's watercolor. It's a quick wash of color. If you need to pop it up a little more, dull it down a little bit more. In my case, it was popping it up and just build and build and build. I like working on the background first and then moving on to the front. Um, I would say that's traditionally what you do for watercolor. Layers, layers, layers. It's because you can lift and kind of edit if it's in the foreground, but you can't do that if it's in the background and you messed up in the foreground. It's a lot more harder. So work back to forward. Um, last bit's going to be like in the nose and getting those details and that cute little mouth. Oh, love the little nose hairs, his mustache hairs. Leo's a little bit older, so you can see there's little white hairs in his little lips. So cute. So fluffy. So soft fluffy. Ta-da! All done. Hey guys! Thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and hit subscribe, leave a comment, or you can visit my website or Instagram in the description below. Thank you!